Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for a world ranking update. Uh, good time to be a South African fan because the gap at the top is only getting bigger with the current sort of street that we are currently going on. It was sort of cut down with that loss against Ireland, but having finally beaten a side, which is basically, you know, within the top sort of five, six, means we can actually gain ranking points. Uh, both the games against Portugal and Australia were basically worth nothing to the box in terms of progressing up the, the or adding to their world ranking points because of how low those teams are ranked. But we have now taken on the All Blacks. We have obviously won. And uh, the world rankings have officially been updated for that. And uh, the big thing about it is that when you're on the top, it's difficult to stay on the top because a single loss, obviously, from anybody below you, cuts your ranking quite hectically. Um, and obviously, sort of the lower rank the team you um, that is that beats you, um, you know, the bigger the drop. So, for example, you know, you're going to Argentina very soon, who are currently ranked seventh. Um, that could be a potential banana peel because, first of all, I expect the three marks to rotate. Second of all, uh, this Argentina side is not bad. Yes, they lost to Australia. I don't know quite how they managed to do that because they were so comfortable at one stage um, and looking so good. But, um, you know, it, it, so a victory, I mean, for Argentina over there would, would see a side could potentially crumble and plunge down this world ranking side. But we don't need to worry about that just yet. Uh, so let's have a look at the world rankings and we're going to start with uh, what they looked like a week ago. Uh, so going into the uh, weekend or the game weekend, this is what they looked like. So you can see a South Africa 93 point. 1-1 points, 92.12, New Zealand on 88.71, then France, England, Argentina at 6, Scotland at 7, Italy at 8, Australia at 9, Fiji at 10. So Australia, you know, I tell you what, you know, it was at one stage at risk of actually slipping outside uh, the top 10. Um, and obviously there was no sort of rugby two weeks ago, so um, there was no sort of update between any of these between from the one week to the next. But however, there has been an update since then because this is now what it looks like. So first things first, as we can see, Scotland have risen up to sixth as a result of Argentina having fallen down to seventh, whilst Australia have actually gone back up to eighth with Italy going down to nine because of that win. Obviously, being in Argentina would have been an away win as well, so they would have got more points. But... From a South African perspective, from 93.11, we rise to 93.37. So it just sort of gives us a bit more of a cushion about the likes of Ireland and New Zealand. Now, if we were to win again this weekend, I believe um, there would be more points on offer. However, when we go across to Argentina and uh, when we are at home to them, for example, probably won't have ranking points on offer. But a win this weekend would put us firmly in the, sort of that number one spot going into the end of year tour, where obviously we'll be playing all the games away. Um, and as a result, we'll have more sort of uh, potential points uh, to gain. However, not playing the strongest sides. I believe it's England, Scotland, and I want to say Wales are our, our end of season fixtures. And as you can see, England down at fifth, Scotland at sixth, whereas outside the top 10 doesn't really help us much. We're not playing Ireland, not playing France. Um, so that doesn't really help us. But you can only, uh, at the end of the play, you know, in what's in front of you. Now, the big thing about it is how how much do we do we take into consideration the rankings? Now I think at the end of the day, you know, when you look at the rankings, do they reflect the best teams in the world? And I look at these rankings and I think they do. I think that South Africa is the best side in the world. We've won the World Cup. We've beaten Ireland one one. You know, in that series, we've now beaten New Zealand as well. You know, yes, at home for example, which you know some people say is obviously a lot easier. But at the end of the day, you got we've gone out, we've got the job done, and. Um, that's the main thing. And uh, continues starting to evolve, for example. Beat Australia twice away as well. Yes, not a particularly good Australian side, but we did do it. Um, I do think that the top three teams, South Africa, Ireland, and then France um, and New Zealand, after those two, probably the best sides in the world. You know, those four. I think England at the moment, difficult to sort of really say. I think that at the moment they're fifth due to that World Cup campaign, which is maybe slightly lucky, you know, in terms of the draw and stuff like that. Definitely showed a little bit of progress during the Six Nations. Scotland and then it's like Argentina. I think Argentina are a better side than seventh, but because of the problem with Argentina is that they've got that loss in them, like this weekend. I don't know how they lost. They should never have lost this Australian side. You know, scored some good tries, had some very good dominant moments. At one stage, it looks like they're going to absolutely cream Australia. Um, so to have lost that was a bit mind boggling. Australia, again, you know, they're starting to rise. So coming up to eight, for example, they are getting slowly better, but I think there's a marked drop off at the moment between the top four, even five, and then kind of the rest. But I do think it's fairly reflective of where we are within world rugby at the moment. Um, you know, New Zealand taking on Ireland in the year, that's going to be an absolute cracker. Because uh, I think if New Zealand were to go over and beat Ireland, then that would um, 
be huge for New Zealand in terms of proving that they, they are the second best team in the world at the moment. Look, if they go and beat South Africa on Friday, I mean, on Saturday rather, then they, there's an argument for them that they could potentially still be the best or at least one of the best teams in the world. Um, so plenty on the line in the next few months. At the moment, this weekend, it's uh, kind of, can Argentina, you know, fend off Australia because they could potentially even be at risk of actually going up even further and losing the, um, that place to Australia. South Africa, obviously, being on top, we can't bet our position, but we can certainly let it weaken a lot if, Australia, if New Zealand were to beat us away, especially if they were to beat us by 15 points, which I don't think will happen, um, but could, could happen. You know, you can't, you can't rule out these things because some of these things can sort of happen. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you think these world rankings are pretty reflective? How much do you sort of weigh them up? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.